Hey folks, it's week 10, Thursday, March 25th, and here is your forecast. So I want you to first check out uh, AES uh, webpage for Desperado. I, I want I want to say too, like Desperado, all right, so the ones that we have um, engaged with so far, the podcasts are um, done by like really moneyed um, production companies. Um, of the the podcasts that we're listening to in this uh, semester, Desperado is one that's like more DIY. Now it's not completely DIY because like they've got like they're being sponsored by a um, by like a podcast like company, right? Aia. But um, that being said, uh, it's produced by like three young people who um, like this is their first podcast. So I guess when you're coming from like the BBC's production, right? So just sort of know that. Um, and it might start out slow, but th the story does sort of build, okay? Um, so I would say too, is that because this podcast is, how do I put this? This podcast is still, uh, it hasn't reached a resolution. Right, so um, we're only looking at the first um, episodes of this podcast. Um, it's still going to continue on. Uh, and so you're not gonna get to like a conclusion of this podcast, right? It's still in process. So like your analyses are really gonna be you kind of like vibing between whatever article that you read and some of the commentary, right? That, that you see happening in the, um, in the podcast episodes, all right? So, um, I guess what I'm saying is don't hold on to this idea that there's going to be a super professional polished story. It's still good, right? Really good. It's just not the BBC's production. And remember that this doesn't resolve like the, this, this story Desperado is still being told. Um, the, one of the reasons why I picked it is because this is like a sci-fi sort of speculative type thing, but at the same time, um, there are definitely like decolonial and post-colonial elements to it, but it's not like a one-to-one -one correspondence. And I don't think that the creators are necessarily like doubling down on those critiques. Like they're like the things that they're doing about like the, this opposition between witches and the old God and like old gods uh, are, um, not, I guess what I'm saying is it's not you know, an easily recognizable thing, but I still think that, uh, that you can make some commentary um, talking about post-colonialism and like decolonial theory in relation to this podcast, okay? So there's that. Um, uh, and then, you know, maybe follow them on Twitter, especially since they're like a new podcast. I'm sure they would love follows. Um, super encouraging. They were really geeked out when they heard that uh, we were looking at their podcast during class. Truly. Um, so you're, we're going to listen to episodes one and two in, uh, in class today. Ignore my dog, Banjo. Um, he's in his feelings. We're going to listen to those and then head over to the hot takes forum for unit five, uh, share those hot takes. Um, and then read and respond to your, whatever your peers have posted, uh, for homework. I want you to listen to episodes three through six and to post to the cash. Okay. So that is it, my friends. All right, cool.